what's going on, Husky friends and family. Thanks for tuning in to another week uh, for your at-home PE assignments. And I got to say, everyone, I really appreciate your participation the last couple weeks. As I'll be honest, as we geared up for our most of us transitioning to in-person learning again for four days a week, I anticipated less students doing their PE assignments because you got a lot going on. You have a lot going on and things are getting pretty wild and excited. We're excited that we get to go back and I thought maybe we would have less focus and attention to our online learning. But about the same number of you are turning in your Wednesday PE assignments as have been the whole school year. So I really appreciate your focus as we transition to going back to school. So thank you to those of you who are doing the assignments. It really does make my week and uh, it makes my Wednesdays a lot more entertaining when I get to watch your videos and read your comments about the assignments. Um, so thank you and keep up the great work. I'm coming to you from the school today though because I'm fortunate enough to be working with uh, the grade two classes. Shout out Miss Eastland and Miss Carlin's class because uh, I get to work with you in person now, but I'm, I'm loving seeing all of you at school, on, whether it's in recess, in the classroom, it's just been so great to see all of you. So thank you uh, so much for all the smiles that, you, that you're um, bringing me at, the, at, the, at school in person. And uh, Cohort C, thank you for a great class today. It's Tuesday, so I get to see some of my Cohort C friends in online PE class, which was just a great time as well. Uh, I really appreciated that for those of you who showed up and participated. So today we have a really special assignment. Um, you know, it's been over a year of me creating weekly PE videos for all of you. And I got to thinking, I thought, you know what? At this point, my Husky students are like at-home PE pros. And I thought, I bet that I could challenge my students to come up with their very own at-home PE physical challenges. So this week, as, as, as you'll see in, in the writing, if you read my little paragraph before you've clicked this link, you are the PE teacher. So what that means is that I am challenging each and every one of you, whether you're a kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, or fifth grader, okay, to come up with your very own physical challenge. Now, as you've been watching my videos, I usually do some kind of week, weekly challenge. Like last week, it was stacking toilet paper on one hand, really kind of silly stuff that's simple but tricky you know some weeks i've done the challenge where you have to go down and pick a piece of paper up with your mouth and then you fold it shorter and you go down and try again it's a flexibility challenge we've done um fitness challenges what well, i did the at home uh disc golf lesson recently where you're throwing uh, uh, your hat or frisbee to disc golf um the get up get down challenge where level one you could use all four limbs one challenge this is two three weeks ago i think then level two you had to take away was it one arm Level three was you had to get down on your stomach, roll over your back and get up with only your legs. And level four was one, you know, one leg. So think of those type of activities, okay? Now those are some examples, but you might also have some stuff. You know, I get a lot of students who, you know, um, I've seen some fifth graders lately who said, Mr. Craig, like I'm doing this basketball and, and they're showing me some basketball challenges that they're working on at their home where I had some friends show me, uh, I think it was throwing a football through a tire, those type of things. So this is your turn to make up your own challenge this could be something about a sport that you really like it could be a fitness based thing like you know i present and say your name is pete i don't think we have a student named pete. i present the this is peter's fitness challenge and you're gonna try and do you know 20 burpees 20 push-ups and 30 jumpy jacks in a minute or something like that okay that could be your physical challenge or it could be something silly that you make up around the home. You know, it could be a stacking challenge, a balancing challenge. You could go to YouTube and look up at home physical fitness challenge or at home physical skill challenges. You could find one that you think is really cool and then you could record yourself doing it and upload it to me. Or you could do a challenge and take a picture of yourself, okay, doing the challenge. There's a quick, quick snapshot. And then when you submit your assignment, you can say, hey, Mr. Greg, here's my challenge. I was trying to balance, you know, I don't know a shoe on my head while standing on one leg for 30 seconds, okay? That would be your challenge, right? So it's anything where you're using your body. Um, it could be something with juggling, okay? On a skateboard, if you have a skateboard, on a pogo stick. Literally, it's wide open, friends. And that's what I want you to do, one. So figure out what challenge you wanna do. When you submit it, I need to see it in a picture or a video to this week. I, I cannot do a written comment because I have to get a visual of what you're doing. The reason why I wanna see what you're doing for your challenge is because I'm gonna pick at least one student and I'm gonna use their challenge for next week's PE video. Okay, that's right, so that's why I'm saying you're being the PE teacher this week. If you come up with a really cool challenge that I think would be challenging but also is accessible and kind of doable for our student body at Husky, kindergarten to fifth grade, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna copy it, okay? I'm gonna try it myself, and I'm gonna record myself doing it and say, this, this, this challenge comes from you, comes to you from, you know, 
Joey McCrab or, or SpongeBob SquarePants in grade four came up with this idea. Whatever your name might be, I'll, let, I'll give you credit so everyone knows this is your idea, and then I'll try it, and then I'll, I'll challenge the whole school to try it, okay? If I get two great ideas, maybe I'll use two ideas. So I'm really, you know, after a year, I'm really trying to see how creative you have all been be able to get with your at-home PE uh, learning, and I just want to see you come up with anything. Right? Again, it's, it's wide open. It could be sports challenge. It could be fitness challenge, gymnastics, a dancing challenge any physical challenge, any minute to win, think minute to win it type games, okay? You can look up, you can, like I said, you can find some online and just copy that, but you have to do it and record yourself doing it, okay? And then, and then that's your assignment. You upload you doing an a, a challenge you found at home, okay? This is when I encourage you to get your family and friends to help you come up with ideas with, okay? Because this is it's a little wide open. It can be hard, especially if you're one of our younger students, all right? But um, I really want to empower you to take ownership of your own learning because you've been doing at home PE for a year. I really want to see what you come up with. Um, and I'm really excited to use at least one lucky student's ideas for next week PE. If it goes really well, I might just use your ideas for the rest of the year. If we have enough good ideas, I might two weeks down the road say, hey, this came from a student in, you know, Miss Carlin's class. So um, who knows? Okay. Uh, yeah. So I'm just stoked to see what you all come up with. If you've been at school, I hope you continue to have a great time coming to school. I know a lot of you have talked to or are having a great time at school. And if you've been cohort C, I saw you today, and I'll see you Thursday. I've had a great time with you all in our Zoom lesson, and uh, we'll have fun Thursday. All right, keep on keeping on, Husky get out, get Husky friends, and get outside and enjoy this awesome weather because it it's not going anywhere anytime soon, so let's make the most of it. All right, talk to you later, Husky friends and family. Take care.